Rising prices on produce and other consumer goods are affecting communities' access to food. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz tells us how local food banks are stepping up to help. Food banks were already dealing with an increased demand because of the pandemic. Now they're dealing with a factor that's affecting them, and that's inflation. If you're noticing an increase in prices from groceries to gas, you aren't alone. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, consumer prices rose at an annual rate of 6.2% October. That is the highest it has been since 1990. Local food banks are there to help families struggling to pay for meals. However, they are also now being affected by inflation. Inflation is affecting us because it's costing us more money to bring in food, but it's also affecting our clients because they're seeing those increases in prices too and they're turning to us to fill those gaps because they might not be able to, you know, fill their pantries or fill their fridges in the way they were able to before. I spoke with several people who rely on the slow food bank for their meals as prices go up. They ask to protect their identity because for many, there's still a stigma surrounding these resources. This is the biggest help we can receive because everything is so expensive in the store. With what they give us here, it is such a great help. Everything is way too expensive. Whatever store you go to, everything is pricey. During this pandemic too, there isn't a lot of jobs, so everything they give us here, we use. And as the holidays come up, making sure each family has access to healthy meals is essential for the Slow Food Bank. This year only, they are looking to distribute 3,000 turkeys, more than any other year. If you or anyone you know is in need of food, there are multiple distribution centers all across Slow County. Reporting in Paso Robles, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. The Slow Food Bank estimates it will have distributed more than 4 million pounds of food by the end of this year.